Okay, let's try that again. Uh, hello again, Facebook. So uh, once you hear <clears throat> the word of the Lord, you're supposed to act on it as soon as you hear it. You're not supposed to let uh, uh, some time go by. You're not supposed to let any time lapse. That's how people have lost 2, 5, 7, 10, 12, 15, 20 years out of their lives because they heard the word of the Lord and then they they just let it go. They They didn't follow up on it. They didn't obey it. They didn't move forward with it. They just... Yeah, as the scripture says, and as many prophets say, they let the words drop to the ground. And what that means is that you heard the prophetic word breathe forth. You you heard the word of the Lord, the rhema word of the Lord come forth, and it didn't do you any good. You just let those words drop to the ground. They didn't penetrate your mind. They didn't penetrate your heart. They didn't change your life. They didn't affect you in any way. So that's why God says, the day you hear my voice, don't harden your heart. That means when you get a word from the Lord and that word resonates with you, not every prophetic word is going to resonate with you. Not every prophetic word is for everybody. But when you hear a prophetic word that resonates with your spirit and with your soul, and when you get a witness of the Holy Spirit that what's being spoken is indeed of God, from God to you, then you're supposed to act on that word. You're not supposed to sit on that word, okay? So I just want to stress that. And the reason I stress that in my weekly broadcast is when I pray, I ask the Lord to give me what he wants me to release for that particular Sunday. As the scripture says, give us this day our daily bread. So that's why you've got to be on it when the Spirit of God gives you a witness that something is speaking to you. You don't want to waste any time. You follow what I'm saying? Okay, that's not the word for today. That's just a little pre-word just to kind of Prepare your hearts and prepare your minds. Okay, so the word for today is go forth and conquer. Go forth and conquer is the, the word for today. Okay, so let's read our scripture reference. I'm reading out of Joshua, the book of Joshua, chapter 14, verses 10 through 15, and I'm reading out of the NIV. <clears throat> Excuse me. The person that's speaking is Caleb. And Caleb was Joshua's partner when they went to spy out the promised land the first time. Okay? Verse 10. Now then, just as the Lord promised, he has kept me, me Caleb, he has kept me alive for 45 years since the time he said this to Moses while Israel moved about in the wilderness. So here I am today, 85 years old, I am still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out. I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. You yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified, but the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. So Hebron has belonged to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly. Hebron used to be called Kiriath Arba after Arba, who was the greatest man among the Anakites. Then the land had rest from war. Whoa, there's a whole lot to unpack right there. But the prophetic word for today is, go forth and conquer. Okay, and the Holy Spirit wants me to release a uh, prophetic word before we dive into the scripture. So here we go. And when you see me, what I'm doing, I'm praying in tongues. I'm stirring up my prayer language to, to stir up the gift and to bring forth what the Holy Spirit has birthed in my spirit so I can be accurate when I release it. For behold, my people, you have come into a season. I do not want you to worry about your age. Many of you are concerned about your age and your stage and where you are in life. Do not be afraid. Do not let your age be a deterrent. Do not let your hearts get filled with fear and your minds get filled with worry. For behold, I am the God of the body. I am the God to, that knits together the sinews and the bones and the corpuscles and the antibodies and the blood and the organs. And I'm the God that giveth thee life. For behold, my people, I release unto you a spirit of long life. 
For behold, my people, I release unto you a spirit of strength that you will be as strong this day as you have ever been to go forth and conquer. Therefore, my people, I give you a release unto you a spirit of courage that you may rise up and take your ground, rise up and take your land. Do not be afraid of the enemies, of the Anakites, any demons, any people calling you old, any naysayers, any, any uh, critics telling you that you can't do what I've called you to do. For now is the time for you to go forth and conquer and take every bit of ground that I have promised you. And behold, I am with you. I am with you. I am with you all the days of your life, even until the end of the age, says the Spirit of the living God. Amen. Amen. Okay, now I got blessed by that word. That was a blessing to me. Hope that was a blessing to you. All right. So according to that rainbow word we just got, and then according to the uh, written word, the Logos word, uh, Caleb said God kept him alive for 45 years after they first spied out the promised land. Do you know how, how that relates to us today? That means you may have been ready to go forward into the promised land, into the will of God, to do what God wanted you to do, to live your dream a long time ago. But maybe you were hooked up. The Bible says when Israel moved about in the wilderness, maybe you were hooked up with some people that didn't believe. And unfortunately, sometimes those people are your family. Sometimes those people are your parents. Remember that when Jesus was preaching, his mother and his brother and his sister stood without and sent word to him and told him to stop preaching because you're crazy. Come out from, from the square and stop preaching and we're going to put you in an insane asylum. That's in the Bible. That was Mary and Jesus' siblings saying, Mary was like, my boy's crazy. They was like, my big brother's crazy. Stop all that preaching. Stop calling yourself the son of God. Just stop what you're doing and stop embarrassing us and come on, go on to the insane, insane asylum. That's in the Bible. That's what Jesus' own family said about him. So why is that important? That's important because I want you to understand that you're going to face those same kind of obstacles. People, somebody's going to tell you that you're too old, that you're crazy, that you can't conquer this ground, that you can't do it. But the Spirit of God just told us, don't listen to that, okay? Because just like God blessed Caleb, he just released unto us a spirit of long life, a spirit of strength, and a spirit of courage. So he says, while Israel was moving about in the wilderness, while they was wandering around for 40 years, them folks you grew up with, they still in the same place, arguing about the same things, doing, talking the same stuff. They haven't accomplished anything. They're just going around in circles. And maybe you were hooked up with them just a little bit too long. Okay? But the word of the Lord to you today is, Caleb said, here I am today, 85 years old. Now, that doesn't mean you should wait until you're 85 to get started. That's not what that means. It means don't let age be a deterrent to going forward. And Caleb said, I'm still as strong today as the day Moses sent me out 45 years ago. I'm just as vigorous to go out to battle now as I was then. Look at that. Caleb said, I'm vigorous to battle. I can still fight. I'm 85 years old. I can still fight just like I could 40 years ago, 45 years ago. So now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day, okay? Then he says, you yourself heard then that the Anakites were there and their cities were large and fortified, but the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. What does that mean? It means just what it says. There are giants in the land. There are enemies in the land. Their cities are large and fortified, but with God helping you, you can drive them out. So don't be afraid. Remember, this whole thing is a faith walk. This whole thing is believing that what God says is true. This whole thing is believing in a God that's bigger than anything that assails you, but he's invisible. You're not looking at him like you're looking at me now. You're not seeing God with your natural eye. Okay, you must see God with your spiritual eye. You must keep your spiritual eye on your vision, and you must keep your spiritual ear tuned to the voice of the Lord. This is going to be a faith conquering. So when you see your enemies with cities large and fortified, do not let that deter you. Do not let that stop you. Okay, and do not let that fill you with fear, because as Caleb said, but the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. Okay, then Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance. So in other words, now, if I don't have time to explain it all, but Joshua in the Old Testament is a type of Christ. There are 
uh, the, the, the figures that God uses in the Old Testament, well, everywhere in the Bible, actually, they show a different aspect of Jesus, if you didn't know that. And the name Joshua actually means peace. He's the son of peace. So uh, Joshua is a type of Christ. Uh, and so when it says Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave him Hebron as his inheritance, okay? And so that means that God will bless you and give you that land as an inheritance, okay? God will bless you to go forward. See, you've got some ideas. You want to form a business. You want to, uh, you know, get some property. You want to do some stuff, and maybe you've had those dreams in you. Maybe you have artistic dreams. Maybe you were painting when you were little, and now you're up in age, and you're saying, do I really want to open an art gallery? Can I really do it? That answer is yes. And Jesus will bless you to go forward and, and, and create that art gallery and live your dream even at an advanced age. But you're going to say, you know, but there are other people that have been in the game longer than me. There are people that, you know, are more skilled than I. They already have a following, all these different kinds of things. Go forward. Go forward and set up that art gallery. Go forward and set up that dream the way the Lord wants you to. Okay? So it says, So Hebron has belonged to Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, ever since, because he followed the Lord, the God of Israel, wholeheartedly, and there's your key. Now remember, you hear me talk about it every week. You hear me talk about following God with your whole heart. HBO. Hear, believe, and obey. Hear what God is saying to you, and believe him, and then obey his word. You understand? Hear, believe and obey okay and when you follow the lord with your whole heart the bible says that that land belonged to caleb since that day because because he followed the lord the god of israel wholeheartedly and then it says hebron used to be called kiriath arba after arba who's the greatest man among the anakites so in other words there were some enemies who had held the city who had held it down in their name and when caleb showed up he took it over and he claimed it as an inheritance. You see that? So that means in a very practical, real life, right now sense, that maybe there have been some others that have been uh, sitting on that land for decades now. And now it's time for you to go forward and claim that land and plant your flag on it. Okay? So don't be afraid. Don't let age be a deterrent. Okay? And then the Bible goes on to say, then the land had rest from war. You know what that means? That means that once the righteous take possession of the land, the land gets rest. That happens all throughout the book of Judges in particular. And in some parts of the Kings, when people obey the Lord, when people do what God tells them to do, when they bring righteousness on the scene, it brings rest and it brings peace. That's another reason you want to go forward and take your promised land. That's uh, another reason you want to be sure that no matter where you are in life, if God has told you to go forward and, 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 and build that dream and build that building and, and, and build that ministry or go back to school or build that family, whatever it is, that you do it because you will bring rest. It won't just be you that gets rest. It'll be the people around you that gets rest as well, okay? So, uh, again, go forth and conquer is the word for today. So you want to be sure that that's exactly what you do, that you go forth and conquer and that you don't allow age, uh, don't think that's an excuse, don't allow that to stop you. And even if you were ready a long time ago and you're just now getting to it, go forth and do it and don't let anybody slow you down. And if there are enemies on the land, don't let that deter you either, because the Lord your God is with you always, and he's able, okay? He's able to help you conquer whatever and whatever it is you need to conquer, all right? All right, do I have any prayer requests? If there's any prayer requests right now, put them up on the screen. Let me know. And if not, I will close this out with a word of prayer. But I was encouraged. I'm edified by that word uh, and praise God for it. And I'm definitely going to take that to heart 
and go forward and do all the things that God has called me to do. Okay, no prayer requests. All right, then I'll close this out in a word of prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for hearing our prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your thank you for your prophetic word, oh God, that it's time for us to go forth and conquer, oh God. And we want to HBO, we want to hear your word and believe you and obey. Thank you, O oh God, that age is not a deterrent. Thank you, O oh God, that enemies on the land with strong and fortified cities are not a deterrent. Thank you, O oh God, that even as we go forth, we believe in you for the release of the spirit of courage. We believe in you for the release of the spirit of strength. We believe in you for a spirit of long life. We believe in you, O oh God, for all the anointings and the graces you release upon us this day to move forward. And so we're going to move forward and we're going to obey your word and we're going to go forth and conquer. And we thank you for it and we believe, believe you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, amen and amen. God bless you. I'm here every Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we're going to continue to release the prophetic word uh, every week. So God bless you. Have a blessed week. And don't be afraid to go forth and conquer. God bless.